In this next video, we're going to be talking about grids. Now, grids, you can think of more like tables, if you've ever used tables inside of HTML. However, they're a little bit different because they're actually responsive, and they'll automatically take up the certain amount of the stage area, and it doesn't matter if they're, it's on a phone, if it's on a mobile device, or if it's on... Um, a tablet or anything like that. So you can see in this picture that the two column grid will actually take up 50% uh, of the screen real estate. Now you, I have this kind of branded out here with block A and block B um, but I, you don't have to brand it like that. You don't have to add a background or a theme or anything like that. You can have buttons like the next example that we have here is the two column grid buttons. But basically these are just buttons placed inside of one inside of one grid, the other inside of another grid. Now those will automatically resize based on the device width. So if I was to change this into landscape mode, it would automatically resize that way. And then so forth, we have a three column grid, four column, five column, um, and then that's as far as the columns go, but then you can have as many rows from there as you want. So it's a little bit more flexible than, let's say, like a normal HTML table. So let's go ahead and take a look at, first of all, the an example here. So this is what we were looking at inside of the PowerPoint. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit more so we can see, okay, here's the four column. That will automatically take up 25% of the uh, stage area. And then we got multiple rows. So no, no matter how many columns you have going across, you can have as many rows going down if you wanted to. And then if possible, or if you needed to, you can have a grid solo class. Actually, that's uh, extra R there. But the solo class basically allows you to have a grid that has more than one column, but then on the next row is actually another column, or another, it's just one column in this case. Um, and so you can have and then right after that you can have another column that equals three so there's a lot of flexibility as far as these grids go let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do inside of here I'm going to open up inside of my starter project that I've been working on I'm going to go ahead and open up this index.html inside of sublime text now I'm going to get rid of some of this code that uh, from the last project we are working on if you wanted to keep that you can I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these panels and then I'm going to keep the content area but I'm going to get rid of these buttons within the content area now from here I'm going to start typing in um, a, a grid so first of all I'm going to type in a div tag now within that div tag let's go ahead and assign an attribute to that div tag now we're going to assign a class which equals, and then I'm going to say UI dash grid dash A. Now grids have different types of um, types of grids. We have A, B, C, and D. Well, in this case, this is just a grid A. This is just a simple grid. We're going to go ahead and so we're going to also assign the two. That's the overall grid. Now we're going to assign the different columns is what we need to create. So I'm going to create a div tag in this case and in this uh, div tag I'm going to assign, assign a class which this class is going to be a little bit different than our other class our other class was a grid but in this case we're actually going to assign a block which is uh, a column so I'm going to say UI dash block and so this one is going to be the letter A now if I was to have multiple grids that's where you can get into grid A grid B grid C um, and, and so forth. But in this case, I'm going to have um, multiple blocks. And so I also do the same thing. I say grid A or block A, block B, block C, depending on uh, what is inside of that block there. Now, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and assign other attributes inside of there. So if I wanted to have uh, a bar, if I wanted to have a button or anything like that, I'm just going to type in some text here. And now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it on the next line. And I'm going to change the block A to block B. Refresh that and now I'm going to come into my browser which already has the index.html open. If you don't have the index.html open, go ahead and double click on that index.html, pull it up inside of any browser. And then you can resize it if you want to see what it's going to look like on a phone or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh. And now you can see that we have our sample text here and we have our sample text here.